Hi, I'm Will. I'm here at Maker Fair 2012 with Sean Thorson. Sean, you make armor. Among other things, yes. Uh, this is this is Warhammer Space Marine armor. This is a human being in here. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, uh, what we've got is a few guys that are just a little bit under six foot tall that we've kind of trained in how to walk around in the drywall stilts that are rigged into these things. Um, barefoot, a Space Marine is supposed to be seven feet tall and about three and a half feet wide. So we don't have anybody in the crew that's that size, <laughs> so we kind of had to fake it a little bit. The biggest challenge at that point is proportions, but I think we managed to work out all the details and make it look like a big person. It's very convincing. Um, well, tell us a little bit about the construction of the armor. What, what, what are your materials used? Well, most of the materials that you're looking at are actually either ABS plastic or styrene, um, and it's vacuum formed. So basically we start by making a, a form that we can stretch a sheet of plastic over once it gets hot. We suck out the air out from underneath it, and then we wait till it cools, and now you've got a formed sheet that's the, whatever shape you put underneath it. Okay. Um, by doing that, all of these different panels are created, and then they get trimmed out of the sheets that they're made of, glue them all together, and you've got each of the pieces. You know, a little bit of paint and a little bit of touch up here and there, strap the whole thing together and you've got a suit of armor. So how long did it take you to, to, to go from starting working on these to actually getting finished prototypes? Tough question, really. We started uh, back in August, we started making the shoulder form, and then since then it's been a back burner project off and on. Uh, so really, it's probably about three and a half months worth of actual effort. Uh, the rest of the time was mostly working on other projects and looking at it and thinking we should do something with those. And you said you had painter stilts in there to make yeah. to make these guys actually, tall. Actually, not exactly painter stilts. They're they're based on like drywall or painter stilts. I actually had uh, my sister's boyfriend runs a fabrication shop, so I drew him up some blueprints. And uh, once that was thrown together, said here make me five pair of these. Um, as we were getting closer to our deadline, we kind of did some triage and decided we were only going to have three suits done this weekend. So two of them are already walking around. The other one we're still buttoning up. So Cody, what does it feel like to wear Space Marine armor? Powerful. <laughs> you, you, you feel like a god. <laughs> now, okay, so you aren't really seven feet tall, are you? Not so much. About 5'11", close to six. Then how are your arms so long? Because I assume you don't normally have giant gorilla arms. <laughs> Not, uh, if only. Uh, yeah, my, my actual hands are about in the wrists of these things. And so the, uh, the whole uh, hand assembly slides into the, uh, into the van brace here, and I've got a little grip inside so I can actually kind of point and tilt a little bit. How did you figure out scale? Because I know scale is one of the hard things about this. Song. Actually, we really didn't do much with the scale. Um, most of the forms actually started as paper craft models using Pepecura. Okay. Um, so one of the other uh, forum members on Obscurus Crusade, which is a Warhammer 40K costuming forum, uh, had already pulled the models, the 3D models, out of the latest Space Marine game from Relic Studios, okay. unfolded them, and basically I just said, okay, you know, this is how tall it needs to be to make this guy eight feet tall. Everything else, actually, I didn't have to rescale any of the files. They were already set up for that height. Um, the intent that that original guy had was, here's the eight foot scale, you do the math to figure out how big you need them to fit you. I figured there's no reason to do math, I'll just make it harder to build. So, that's that. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Sean. It's great to see this stuff. This is fantastic. Cool. Thanks, man.